if there's one thing that defines Donald Trump and his movement, everyone around him, it's being absolutely bonkers all the time. And so whenever they come up with these ideas, they can't just be normal people. They have to come up with the most harebrained schemes to try and return Donald Trump to power. So it's not about him actually winning again in 2024. You have top people extremely close to Donald Trump and Donald Trump himself spreading the most crazy ideas about how he can come back to power even before the next election, such as this clip. Miracle number five is the restoration of Donald Trump to the White House before 2024. Let me, let me explain to you how this can happen. There are a number of people out there who would like to see this, but they, they don't have the 40 years perspective on American politics that I have. It is not going to happen because of a court. There is no court that will hear our case. It's not going to happen because of a legislative body. There is no legislative or regulatory body at the state or federal level who will hear the massive case of fraud and irregularities and anomalies that existed in the last election. Here's how it will happen. We are going to retake the House of Representatives. We are going to send some America first candidates like Jackson Lawmeyer to the U.S. Senate. Then the House Republicans are going to make Donald Trump speaker. Joe Biden will be removed by the 25th Amendment because he is non compass mentis. We will impeach Vice President Harris and Donald Trump will be restored. So that's from Roger Stone. But make no mistake, Donald Trump has said similar things. Donald Trump in this year and last year as well, really since he lost the election, has been helping to promote these ideas, either directly or indirectly, that there's some way he can come back to office. Whether it was the Mike Pillow Guy type scheme where they were going to challenge it to the Supreme Court and he was going to come back, or whether it's this scheme, which is basically you make Donald Trump Trump Speaker of the House if you take back the House in November. After that, you get rid of Biden, you get rid of Harris, and so therefore, Donald Trump is third in line to the White House because he's Speaker, you make him President, Donald Trump is President again, and then in addition, he can run again in 2024 for another full four years, giving him effectively 10 years as President. Now, is this hypothetically possible? Yes, it's less crazy than the other scheme because the other scheme was literally constitutionally impossible and the only way you could achieve it was through a literal violent coup literally Donald Trump and his cronies overthrowing the government tearing up the US Constitution and like a dictator moving himself back into the White House taking over all apparatus of the US federal government to do so but this shows just how anti-democratic these people are because this really isn't about a legitimate constitutional approach to become president again. This is about using a loophole in a bad faith manner to try and return Donald Trump to power. And whether or not Donald Trump himself personally believes this plan, whether he actually in his heart wants to do it, he nonetheless promotes it. And so do people like Roger Stone and Matt Gates and so many others, because he knows that it keeps his crazy base in line and it keeps the money flowing in and it keeps the persistent lie that the last election wasn't fair right on the front burner. Any way you slice it, Donald Trump and his people are dangerous and they hate democracy. And this is an example.